by this video is about the important tools that you should remember in drawing AutoCAD application. In drawing while using AutoCAD application. Okay, so while you should always remember and check what does the command line says in each tools that you're going to use. For example, you're going to use rectangle, enter, and then you need to click first, and then you need to choose. It says that specify other corner point. So I can click, but since there is a spe specified length given from the object, you need to choose dimension. Okay. I'm choosing dimension, for example, the length of my rectangle is 100. I will type 100. And then, uh, it says, the command line says that, spe that you need to specify the width of the rectangles. I will type 50, enter. Okay. You will notice, once you zoom that, zoom it out, you can see already the rectangle. Okay? But you need... To have the last procedure or step in drawing a rectangle which is specify other corner point so you need to click so this is now the rectangle okay so what are the other tools that you need to to memorize while while drawing an object in the AutoCAD Aside from, of course, you need to identify the steps in drawing the tools. Each tool, each tool or using tools in AutoCAD, you need to know the importance of the auto mode. What is auto mode? The shortcut, shortcut of the auto mode is F8. Okay? So, this is useful in drawing a line. For example, I will type L, enter. Okay? And then, you will notice that when I click somewhere here, you can see that it's all straight line. It will follow a straight line. So automatically, I can draw, for example, 100, enter. I can automatically draw letter T. Okay, for example, the, the length of that letter T is... 30 enter the last point is here okay and then I'll hover my mouse to the left okay if that is 30 30 also in between 35 is the measurement of this this letter T with 35 enter so I'll have 35 minus 35 minus 100 is 75, right? 75, then I have 30, then I have 75, then I have, um, if that is 30, what's the measurement of this one? So this is 35. Okay. Then click. So automatically you can draw a letter T using auto mode. But if the auto auto mode is off, it's like you you hit a line or you type L as the tools of the line. You click here. And then you will just guess the proper is straight, straight line. Okay, this is just a guess that this is a straight line. So the tendency is you might have the incorrect straight line, just like this one. Okay, so this is not a line. Well. And aside from that, when you're using the ortho mode off, 
when I hit a line and then I connect it there I when I hit a line and then I create a straight line okay you cannot create an automatic straight line alright so that is for the ortho mode how about object snap this is I will turn on my ortho mode again then I will turn off my object snap and the shortcut of object snap is F3 so in drawing and turning on your object snap for example I will write a line I will click the corner of this one you cannot verify that is already the corner I'll click it here then I will click it somewhere here I think this is connected to the letter T or I'll turn off my ortho first then I will connect that line to the letter T and then I I hit escape all right so the tendency if your object snap is off you cannot connect nearest lines endpoint okay cannot connect well those endpoints okay so you will see the object snap here on the status toolbar you can see the object snap settings once you click that you can see that these are all the signs that you're you need to click each part of the object for example you're using a line then once you see a rectangle or something like a square object is indicated that you're yeah it is already the end point of the object once you see a triangle you can see midpoint of the object okay of course for the center something like circle you can see x for intersection of the line and then something like perpendicular but depends if you check and click the the boxes okay you cannot see the end point if this box is not checked so you need to check it because an end point is very useful in drawing an object in AutoCAD and then after that you need to click OK and then let's turn on now the object snap okay. so I will create first a line and then you can see the green portion that telling you that that is the midpoint of that object and then something like X is about that is the nearest point right once you have a box something like a box you can see the end point when i hit when i click on that and then hit escape you can also see that it is connected on that part so it didn't miss any corner of each object once you use the object snap then this is the grid you can turn it on or off you turn it on once of course for example you want to to see your objects in a grid but once you you're going to transfer already the object to the template kindly turn it off okay so that it will be it it is not visible to the template i think that's all thank you